Hello! In today's video, we're headed to the sawmill and we're cutting eastern white cedar. I'm going to take a piece of dried cedar and I'm going to make a welcome sign. Let's get at it! Andy's squaring up the log here. So he has to square up all four sides. He doesn't really have to worry about the curve of the blade. The curve of the blade is the thickness. These blades are 1 8 inch thick. You would have to add that into your measurements. But today we're not going to be worried about the curve of the blade. He's going to cut the live edge 1 inch thick, let it dry, and then he's going to plane it down to 3 quarters inch. Dear Diary, got a lot of inner FUD going on. It's fear, uncertainty, doubt. I have a custom order. It's a welcome sign, which you think, okay, well, that'd be easy, wouldn't it? Well, then you start to overthink. Do I change it out for the seasons? What if I just add a bow and change the bow for the different seasons? The font, can you see it from the road? How much do I charge her? Will she appreciate the sign? Is it what she has in her, in her mind? gonna square the bottom edge this is not a square edge along the side so I have to hold it and I'm just gonna clamp it down to help me hold it because when I'm cutting as the blade goes through it pulls it okay. Sand it, ready to go. Okay, first I'm gonna write the word welcome. I'm gonna be working upside down and from the bottom up. I'll show you how to do this bow, don't worry. But I wanna leave some room for a bow at the top. Give myself a little bit of room at the bottom. Just mark a pencil where I want the next letter. The O is on the same stencil as the M, so I gotta play with it. Got to play with it. I'm just gonna use acrylic paint. It's a cedar sign. Why is Eastern White Cedar my favorite? Because it's durable, because it's cheap, and who wouldn't like to see a project that they made for years to come? How to eat the whole Cool Whip container, the whole thing, so I could use the lid as a palette. Yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Just using some cheap acrylic paint. I'm going to use a stencil brush. It's a round stencil brush. And I'm going to stipple less is more. I'm going to dip into the paint, remove it, and then remove it a second time. I can always redo it, but if you get it too runny or too much paint, it will run under the stencil. My inner foot is just going off. Is that actually going to work? <laughs> Are you sure? You know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, woman. I like to swirl. I have a really bad habit of swirling. Okay, so there is my E done. I'm gonna count Sandy. Ooh, things are flying off the table. The big reveal. Here we go, the reveal. Ooh, so satisfying. Line up the O. And you can see I haven't done a solid black. I like it to look like an old, distressed pair of leather, like leather, <laughs> leather pants. No, no, don't, no, not the leather pants. I like to make it look like a distressed pair of old jeans. You know, your favorite jeans, they're kind of worn out. They're kind of faded in some spots. Yeah, that's what I like my signs to look like. If I wanted a solid black, I would have just bought a plastic sign. Reveal. Woohoo! <laughs> I've spelt it right. Just to reveal. 
Radio. I got some nice jute rope. It was a dollar fifty. It's a nicer rope. It's a, it's a little bit thicker. So that is the why. I'm gonna wrap some jute around it three times for a little bit of an accent at the top. I'm gonna make a Christmas bow, and I'm just gonna tie it on so that in the spring they can change out the bow. I'm not the best bow maker. Whatever. I got this Kirkland ribbon at Costco, it was so cheap. It was $8.99 for 50 yards. What I'm doing is I'm just gathering everything with my fingers here, and then I twist, gather it, twist, gather it, and this side is gonna be roughly the same length as this side. I'm just gonna do a tail. So the trick is, to twist it so that you always have the good side of the ribbon. I have zip ties. These zip ties are from Dollar Tree where I was holding it with my finger. I'm just going to zip tie it. It's kind of awkward. You need like three hands or four hands. I'm not going to tighten it all the way so I can tie it onto my sign. I'm going to put the jute in there and now I'm going to tighten it. I'm just going to pull it tight. Then I'm going to fluff. Fluffity fluff. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Tie it on here and call her done. Look how pretty that is. I made this. I made this. So pretty. I think she's gonna love it. If you stuck around this long, you're gonna get some bonus footage of my new apprentice. Drum roll. Wait, I got this. I'm practicing it. Brooke McPherson. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Brooke. I am 11 in grade six. What? She's only 11. This girl is a powerful girl and she knows how to work some powerful tools. Grade six. Yeah. And how are you enjoying the woodworking? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You have it right from the street. It's damn cool. That's right, cool. Sorry for swearing, mom. You? You need to make these. Oh, I forgot my sign. You need to make these. Snowmen and those tall welcome signs sell out by noon. Every time we go to the market, we sell the snowman for 35, the tall welcome sign for, four, for 50, 50 bucks even. Great sellers, you could make some coin. Um, I'm just, I got you a new bit because this one is awful. So you just pull this out and it releases the bit and you put the new one in and there you go. Okay, mm -hmm. now we'll get some three inch screws. Here we go. Do you want to explain what you're doing and to the camera? <laughs> um, Another bonus is curious. she brought me Timmy's. My apprentice brought me Timmy's. Hello. I'm gonna make sure it's lined up. And then once it is, I'm gonna flip it over. Flip it good. Dan -dan 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 -dan. And then -dan -dan -dan. make sure it's on. There you go, baby girl. You just gotta put pressure on the bit. So we'll leave that part in. Perfect. Pressure. Yeah, we're still doing that one. Holy. 11 years old. Hello, people. 11 years old. Look at her wielding the power tools. Hey. Electric stapler. Can you, can you, oh, here's the plug right here. I'll plug you in. I will plug you in, girlfriend. Thank you.
Yeah. Nice. Look at her hiding the staples. She's good. That looks amazing. Hey, today's question. What do you want? What would you like to see me do? And I'll give it a go. Do me a solid. Watch my next video. Whoop. Love you, bye. You gotta say love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. <laughs> Did awesome. you want to say anything else? Nope. nope. <laughs>